Kaya, Wanju, Wanju. This phrase can be used as a welcome to country. Although not being a Noongar man, I use it as an example of how we can all start making connection to country because language is the music of country. To First Nations peoples, all of Australia is country. And if there were a traditional welcome for this city event, it would still be a welcome to country or to Wadjuk Noongar Pudja. Prior to colonisation, Australia was a network of fresh food supermarkets with no cash registers, or as we in the community garden movement would say, a network of community gardens where people only took what they needed and they shared. Today it's very different. Land is owned and food is a commercial commodity rather than a basic human need or right and it's distributed according to the capacity to pay, not according to need. Presently, food travels a very long way to get to our plates, weakening our national food security, our balance of trade, and needlessly increasing our carbon footprint. It also means we're eating less local food, less seasonal food, and sometimes less natural food. And why is that happening? Because the economy decided so. That's why. Over many tens of thousands of years, Australia has experienced two main societies. Firstly, the many ancient First Nations cultures, and more recently, our contemporary Western economy. The latter has resulted in a view of country as a magical money box, and our economy is based on the concept of private ownership, and our primary way of measuring value is financial. This makes it incredibly difficult to have a sustainable society. There is, however, much cause for hope, as we've seen in the papers presented during Nature City. My community garden focus takes us back to the values of this country's ancient past, caring and sharing. Community gardens are similar in some ways to contemporary custodians of country that we don't own. We bring people together and share our produce and we have an amazing network spread right across the country. Many present over the last couple of days also share that ethos, as do a growing number of our fellow Australians. However, we do much more than sharing and caring, as important as that is. Your local community garden is a great venue for educational events on any of the Nature City topics and for many other environmental and sustainability talks and displays. 
We have recently lodged an expression of interest to be a container deposit collection point. We have regular cooking based events. And did I mention community gardens are a great place to meet local people and learn how to grow food sustainably? We're an example in your local community of a circular economy as we take green and food waste, compost it or worm farm it and use it to grow food. Speaking to you today as the Australian City Farm and Community Garden Network's Sustainability Ambassador, I should describe what sustainability means to me. I describe it as livability for the present and the future. The coexistence of economic, social and environmental aspects of life in all thinking talking, decision-making and action. Sustainability needs to become a form of consciousness or part of our underlying cultural values. First Nations people had that form of consciousness and instead of the economy, they had law and culture. So this leads us beyond the past, through the present and towards the future, even forward to the past if you like. Our challenge as a nation is to combine the very different concepts of economy and culture for the benefit of this country and all life on it, including all of us humans. What an exciting challenge. In the context of this event, community gardens play an important role in Nature City. We help establish a connection for people with nature and country. We plant and protect significant amounts of trees. We provide habitat for native species, including native bees, birds, insects and other critters. We plant bush tucker and bush medicine species. And we raise awareness of all of these native species and of the value of adopting those species as personal or garden totems. We even sing and dance. I'd like to pay tribute here to Auntie Josie Boyle, a Wongata elder from the Kalgoorlie region, who wrote this song for a community garden event we held earlier in the year. Have fun and enjoy. Community garden people are always having fun. Out there in the garden in the rain and the sun. They give the gardens their love, they're helping things to grow. Out there all the time with a spade and a hoe. Most and all the veggies they plant and they dig. They have a sunny smile when the seedlings grow big. They love to have new faces to help them on their way. To sing and dance the whole day, to brighten up the day. Community garden people are always having fun. Out there in the garden in the rain and the sun. They give the garden their love, they're helping things to grow. 
After all the time with the spade and the hoe Folks tell all the veggies they plant and they do They have a sunny smile when the seedlings grow up big They love to have new faces to help them on their way Sing and dance and brighten up the day with the ho, ho, then dance. <laughs> yeah. Very good little song, isn't it? You can do the nice dance to it, eh? <laughs>